Hello Internet people. In this GA Quickie, I'll show you how you can increase the site speed sampling rate in Google Analytics so that you won't have gaps like this in your site speed report even though you have hundreds of daily visitors. Instead, you'll have this nice and consistent data. This will take you only a few minutes. You lie! Tape sweat punch. All right. The reason that you see gaps in your page speed report in GA is because by default GA samples 1% of all your traffic. So if you have 1000 users, only 10 users will be tracked in the site speed report. To increase the site speed sampling in Google Analytics, you have basically two ways to do it. You can do it directly in the GA script that you place on your site anyway, or you can do it through GTM. I'll show you both ways, they're pretty easy. If we start with the script, in my case, my script is in WordPress and it's just in the header. So I'll go ahead there through editor and I find my header.php. Here it is. And then I just search for the UA code because I have it already there. So all I have to do now is to add this piece of code to it. So in this case, it's like this. So I'm not gonna just grab anything after the comma. Copy paste, and I'll change this 10 to 100 because I wanna have 100% sample rate. I'll place this code in the description. And then just save the changes. And I'm going to purge the cache. Now you can't really test this easily, so you just uh, have to trust that it's gonna work this way. And here is how it looks like a few weeks after I've increased the site speed sample rate to 100%. So I updated this on 22nd of August. And as you can see, the data is also much more consistent after that point. And there's no big drops or high peaks. This is just because there's more data to even it out. Arnie, are you still with us? <laughs> And the second way to do it is through GTM and it's quite easy as well. So you probably already have your Google Analytics Universal Analytics tag. But if you don't have it, just sign in to Google Tag Manager. I'll leave the link in the description. In the left menu, click on Tags and then on New. Give the tag a name and click on Tag Configuration and choose GA Universal Analytics. Then enable the overriding settings in this tag and go to your Google Analytics and grab the UA code by clicking on the cogwheel at the left bottom corner. Then click on property settings and the tracking ID will be there at the top. So just copy it and paste it in GTM. Now please note, you shouldn't create this tag if you already have GA tracking code in your code. This will just duplicate the same code. So you should choose if you implement tracking ID directly through code or GTM. And then in here, you just scroll down, go to more settings. And here, if you start typing site speed, it will already come up here. So you just can put 100 here, save it. Obviously, if you need a trigger for it as well, um, but you probably already have it. It's just a page view trigger and you're good to go. Just save it, publish your container and it should go live. And in a day or two, you should start seeing much more data in your GA. And here is how it looks like a few weeks after I've increased the site speed sample rate to 100%. So I updated this on 22nd of August. And as you can see, the data is also much more consistent after that point. No problemo. Now, one thing I want to mention is that there's certain issues that come up if you have if you have multiple page views. So there's a great post by Simo Ahava about this. So you just read through it. If you have something more special than just the normal tag on your website, check this that you don't need to adjust the the site speed sample rate just because of this. Otherwise, you might be tracking your website slightly wrong. And obviously, the link to this article will be in the description. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, 
this is the channel for you so hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos here are two videos that i think you will find useful Whoosh.